ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obdato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're returning to Mindustry because there's been a very, very, very substantial update, uh, which we are going to chat about over the course of this episode, and we're also going to check it out. Anyway, uh, let's jump into things and see what we've got in store. Uh, we can start a brand new campaign, um, and this is where all of the new content basically is, and holy cow, uh, there is a lot of new content. Eric here, I think it is. Um, so let's let's jump into things uh, and see what we've got going on. There's only one place that we can start here, I believe. Um, and I believe that on Eric here, uh, everything is... That's the other planet over there. Uh, whatever it is. Ser, 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 Serpolo, where the, where the campaign is already is already playable. Uh, but over here, uh, I believe that all of the maps are hand designed rather than procedurally generated. Uh, so we're going to jump into things and see what we've got going on. So uh, immediately, if you've played Mind Industry before, uh, and you haven't played the new update, then you will notice, uh, as we go through the, the sort of steps here, uh, you'll notice that there is a lot of stuff that is basically entirely new. Um, beryllium, uh, did beryllium exist in the in the OG? I can't particularly remember. I don't think so. It definitely wasn't the basic resource, uh, so I don't think it did exist. The point is, is that there's a whole bunch of, uh, of different bits and bobs. A turbine condenser uh, made with uh, made with beryllium. We'll go into the research tech tree and organize this. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you've never, if you've never played my industry before, then, um, then what you need to know is it's it's an automation factory builder, uh, but it's so good. It's so unbelievably good. It really, really, really is. Um, as ever, I've played through the tutorial. Is like, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing at least to some degree in this uh, in this new world. And so hopefully we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get through here, and we're gonna have uh, a good fun time doing so. Anyway, we've got our core over here, uh, which is which is full fully fully health at the moment until the enemies decide to to come and attack me. Uh, we're we're playing as this little unit here. I put down this turbine condenser a little bit earlier, which is going to give me a little bit of power output. There's a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of stuff that we can actually research in the tech tree, which we're going to do uh, pretty pretty shortly. In fact, what did we need to do? We need to do the plasma bore, uh, which is the new way or one of the new ways, I guess, of mining brand new resources. Uh, we won't pick up the beam node or the duct yet, even though I know that we will need to. Right. So we need to research and place a plasma bore. This automatically mines resources from the walls, uh, which is cool. Very, very, very cool as heck. Um, you can see the sort of area of impact that um, that it sort of has. Uh, if we nab the beam node uh, and I build the beam node, you can see how power it now works, which is entirely different to the original uh, campaign. Very, very cool, in fact. Uh, right, so we're accumulating this beryllium. The lasers are biting into the wall. We're getting a, getting a whole bunch of beryllium from the wall, which is marvelous. We'll build some more turbine condensers, not turbine condensers, uh, plasma bores over there, and we will use the power of use the power of of beam nodes in order to in order to build a whole bunch of whole bunch of nonsense here. Um, if we go into the the research tech tree again, we can have a little look. We can get the ducts here. Now ducts are very very cool, like really 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 powerful. In fact, um, and this is useful for a couple of reasons uh, because. Uh, ducts do not do not interfere with power transmission, which is really really nice. Uh, they also travel very very fast, which is in uh, contrast to the. There we go. Let's do that. Look at that. Look at how see. Look at how good this looks. It just it just works, doesn't it? Uh, that can go over there, and that can go over there. So already, I think you can probably start to see some of the power of what we're trying to do here. There we go, get that over there. Yeah, I mean, look, it's gonna take us a little while to get all of this stuff built, but as soon as we get more beryllium, we should be fine. Uh, yeah, we need to mine 200 beryllium, which we should manage to accomplish very, very shortly indeed. But look at this, look at this. We are mining, we're mining the same node multiple times. In fact, we could probably do something up here, but ah, look, it doesn't matter. All we need to do is hit 200, uh, 200 beryllium and we will be fine. Uh, the next objective is to get graphite, which is also, uh, it's not, well, it's not super difficult to, to get set up. We can, we can conduct a similar sort of mining operation over here. Uh, you know, I like to, I like to see the lasers. I like to see the lasers. Sure. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. 
Uh, and much like what we did with beryllium, we're just going to trace a pathway right back into the core. And that should allow us, for the most part, to get all of our stuff ready. I think we're probably going to... Can I... I can drag this out nicely. Like so. Maximum range. Boom. 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 Boom, boom. Excellent. Look at that. Look at how unbelievably cool this looks. So we've basically got a completely different look uh, from what you have or from what you had in the original campaign, which I absolutely love. It is so, so, so cool. Uh, we need to hit 100 graphite, which we will do probably pretty darn shortly if I had to uh, if I had to wager. Now, can I connect up power between? I can connect up power between uh, between mining bores. That's quite handy. There we go. And already, we're looking pretty good. Right, begin researching factories. Research the Cliff Crusher and the Silicon Arc Furnace. Well, let's jump back into the tech tree and see what we've got going on here. Crushes walls, outputting sand indefinitely. Requires power efficiency, varies based on the type of wall. Okay, that's cool. And a silicon arc furnace refines silicon from sand and graphite. And we need 85 beryllium in order to do that. So we're not quite ready to make that happen yet. What do we need for the cliff crusher? Um, we have the capability. Should we try and crush these cliffs? Sure. Let's try and crush those cliffs and then we'll do... Something like that. Nice. So the sand is going to be output, but there's no real reason to get uh, any infrastructure connected up to this cliff crusher until we get the silicon arc furnace, which, there we go, is going to give us the ability to get uh, to get another resource, I do indeed hope. Okay. But for now, we'll... Uh, We'll just settle for we'll just settle for for one of these. Okay, so uh, what do we need? We need also to get a little bit of graphite over here, and also power, which is something that I have not, uh, which I have not considered. Uh, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, graphite. Do we want to bring graphite up from? I guess we could bring graphite up from here, right? Cool. All right, look at that. And what do you know? We've managed to nab ourselves silicon, which is pretty darn nice. Silicon, of course, was available in the uh, in the original, but at least now we've got we've got some we've got some. Oh, interesting. There's no there's no power here. Uh, right, use units to explore the map, defend buildings, and attack the enemies. Yeah, research and place tank fabricators. Yeah, I'll do that in just a second. Is there really a power issue here, though? It does say that there's no power, but it seems to me to be a sand issue more than anything else. Let's get another cliff crusher. Let's get two, actually. Right, is that going to make a tremendous difference? Of course it's not going to... Of course it's not going to make a difference because we do not have uh, power. Not yet, anyway. Uh, is there actually a way to squeeze power in here? That's the real question. Uh, I'm not actually sure that there necessarily is. Let's redo that and let's do that over there. Cool. Right. That will be enough. Let's do this in there, this in there. That's fine. That should at least keep the Keep the good times rolling for at least a little while. Ah, uh, yes. We need to make sure that we don't accidentally allow allow an output uh, allow an output to come out of the top because that uh, is exactly what happened there. The silicon was uh, very cheekily coming at the top as opposed to coming at the bottom. Either way, this is looking pretty good. Um, I think we've got more than enough resources coming in, uh, coming in to the right areas here. This is great. Uh, unfortunately, we can't. I mean, unless we do something like, I can't, uh, I can't select what's coming out actually of a specific duct. So I guess we're just gonna have to, I guess we're just gonna have to alternate it occasionally. Either that, or we get, you know, like 
this specific route set up to, to deal with the graphite from one area and then the other graphite goes somewhere else. Whatever the case, it doesn't particularly matter. Let's get the tank fabricator set up. Let's move forward in the tech tree. Right, uh, a duct router distributes items equally. That is going to be very, very handy. We'll get the tank fabricator for now, though, and we've got one tank unlocked at the present moment. Let's give it a let's give it a little build. What is it? Uh, what is it required to build? Two hundred silicon, two hundred silicon, and a whole bunch of beryllium. Uh, and then we need to input regular beryllium and also silicon. Uh, well, you know, I tell you what, that's a bit of a pain in the backside, but. I can cope. I can cope. Right. So we'll do this. Uh, we're going to get the router, uh, which is really quite handy, I believe. Um, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be useful. Uh, what about the bridge? Yes, the bridge is also quite handy. Anything else that we can unlock? The breach Fires piercing beryllium or tungsten ammunition at enemy targets. That sounds absolutely super cool and something that we're going to get. Uh, but for now, let's get a bridge to here is that uh, that'll work yep brilliant and let's get that yoinked in there okay so that's going to get us a whole bunch of silicon is it going to be enough almost certainly not um we're not really approaching i guess scalability yet but uh but we will is there any other beryllium up here no there is not so we're gonna have to just what if i really like cheekily just do something like that I know it's I know it's an illegal maneuver. I, I know it's not allowed, but we have a limited amount of we have a limited amount of resources anyway, so why not just do it on a temporary basis? Sure. I mean we're not exactly doing anything else with our beryllium, right? No, I don't think so. Right. Is that all that we can do tech tree wise? I think that's all we can do tech tree wise until we presumably do a little bit more exploration. Uh, we can also, I mean, if I take silicon out of there and then stick it into here, that'll maybe give us, it'll give us a little bit more silicon. Um, we're probably going to maybe get another tank fabricator. We'll do that. Uh, we're not going to be able to build it all, obviously. Uh, did I put that into the construction? Uh, I took it out. I did not put it back in. Right, well, that is my... That is my bad video game. I'm very sorry. So this is the downside of having a whole bunch of beryllium uh, transferred in the same pipe. There we go. Take it out. Beautiful. Okay, you know what? Let the build progress continue. I don't want to. I don't want to mess around too much. I think. I think the case is though, as long as we have fifty. Oh God, yeah. As long as we have fifty. As long as we have fifty. Um, silicon actually in, the. In the tank fabricator, we're gonna be able to. We're gonna be able to make it work. Uh, what is this? What is this fabrication? What does this fabrication need? Pause building. I mean, let's let's not let's not really let's really like not focus on. Focus on that is the issue right now. Let's just get the tank done. I can I can focus up. I can focus up in a little bit, uh, but I really should divert the. I really should divert the uh, the beryllium that's coming out of here. There we go. Resume building there. That's fine. Okay, let's do do that. Okay, and then take that out of there. Brilliant. And let more stuff. Let more stuff go in there. Cool. Okay, let's not faff around with any of the other... Let's not faff around with any of the other combos. We're just going to leave it. It's going to be chill. We're going to be... It's going to be all... It's going to be all good. Uh, I tell you what I should do whilst I'm waiting for that to happen. Let's get... Uh, let's get another cliff crusher. And I tell you what, it looks like the cliff crusher is down here on this specific sandy wall. It's going to be slightly better. Uh, let's get three silicon arc furnaces, which we should have enough resources to build. But don't quote me on that. Uh, what did I need? I needed... I needed graphite. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I can, uh, I can copy and paste, and I will copy and paste. So this does... This does sand. We can also selectively, we can also selectively, yeah, we can also configure it as an item sorter, which I don't particularly want to do. Not at this moment in time. 
Oh, look, we got a tank. We got a tank, right. Hold shift to enter command mode. There we go. Right click to order selected units around. Brilliant. Go up here. We explore the worlds. Uh, the world is... The world is unexplorable. The world is very boring. Well, that's unfortunate. I thought there would be... I thought there would be more... I thought there would be more stuff there. Anyway, uh, we need to build a breach, which I have not yet unlocked, have I? We need 180 silicon in order to do that. Um, we can start getting... Yeah, we can start getting routers here now, which is probably what I should have... Uh, should have had going for a little while. Uh, this router... I guess it can be silicon, but I mean, it really doesn't need to be anything. And let's also get a, another router here. And we'll get a bridge here, 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 here. It's fine. Yep. And that's that's fine too. Uh, actually, that will not work. Otherwise, it's gonna be gonna be chaos. So we'll have to do we'll have to do that. But even that won't work, so we're gonna have to remove this. Oh, it's just one of these, one of these little, one of these little things, one of these little things about my industry. Right. Either way, this is this is what we're doing here. We're. Are you. Excuse me. That is beryllium. What's the issue here? Um, is there some sort of a. Some sort of an issue. Yep, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what the why this uh, why this isn't working. But there we go. Okay, I guess we can only input from the rear. That's I guess that's uh, that's noteworthy. That's fine. Okay, that's looking that's looking good. Um, we still need to get a silicon a silicon splitter over here uh, or router, which we'll do, and we'll get a bridge. There, there. Up there, that's fine. Is that gonna work? It should. Okay, let's get ourselves let's get ourselves a breach. Boom, we should be able to get that. Uh, we need eleven silicon, which we should be able to get very very shortly. Uh, we'll also get this set up. We need to get ourselves a router here. There is more tech that I need access to that I, quite frankly, do not have yet. Uh, more tech in the tech tree that is. But for now, we'll just make do. We'll make do. Okay. That's fine. We'll get power set up in just a second. How how close are we to the breach? There we go. Good. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get the breach. Let's get it now. Uh, where is it? There we go. Okay. Brilliant. 150 silicon. That's a lot of silicon, which is why I guess it makes perfect sense that we should get all of this set up. Uh, let's get this all condensed into one route now. And then, let's take this down here, take the router, uh, actually, tell you what, bring it slightly closer, then lay the router, then lay out to the side here, down there, and out like so. Then, for the output, we will get a bridge to go over here, bridge to go over there, and a bridge to go over there, and also a bridge to go over there. Good. Out there. That's the output. That's the output. That's the output. Output over here. Output up there. Output up there. I think if we power all of this, it will magically start to work. No guarantees, but it would be remarkable if it did. Brilliant. Okay, uh, the real question is, are we going to have enough, are we going to have enough cliff crushing capability? And I would wager almost certainly not, but the good news is, is that we can fairly easily, if we need to, that is, uh, crush more cliffs. That's going to be fine, I think, uh, and we're going to need to get one more power source. Beautiful. How's that looking? Graphites. Why do you not want to work? 
Don't know. Don't know at all. Let's remove the... I, I th okay, so if the item sort... Okay, I see. The item sorts only in the positive direction. So the if it's I, if it's in uh, item sorting mode, it doesn't actually want to split. Which is fine. You know, that's okay. That's just something that we need to note. Uh, we need more... Are you low on power? Is that the issue? Is there a power shortage? Looks like there's a little bit of a power shortage going around. Let's um, let's get a turbine condenser over here. Power still looks a smidgen low. Can I maybe get some more power? Turbine condenser, beautiful. I don't think that there's a transfer limit. Uh, there is definitely like a power deficit in the network, but I don't think that there's anything else that I can actually do about that. We are limited with the amount of power that we can actually output at this specific moment, but that's okay. Right, so let's get this, let's get this turret. Let's do it. Let's just get it built. Uh, this is the region in which we cannot build turrets, so that's fine, I guess. Well, it's not fine, but it's something that we're going to have to make do with. Uh, we're going to get a bridge, which we're going to place over here. That's the, it's a router. That's not what I wanted. Bridge here. Uh, we're going to conduct a very cheeky bit of, bit of rerouting for the sake of, there we go. Very cheeky little bit of rerouting there uh, because we want to split the beryllium. It was beryllium that we use, yeah? Beryllium that we use up here. Brilliant. Supply the turret. Fantastic. We'll be able to do that right now. Beautiful. Okay. Walls can prevent some stuff. Yeah, yeah, we know. Don't worry about it. We need 100 beryllium in order to make that happen. Uh, are we... Yeah, we're currently supplying beryllium. We're just not... We just don't have much of it. Uh, although, I tell you what, if I just supply all of it manually, then that would be even better. Right. So, I think we're all ready to rock and roll. To be fair, this has been a nice, interesting tutorial for sure. What do we need? Six walls? Yeah, let's do... There we go. Uh, this has been a nice, interesting tutorial, but I want to get to fighting some bad guys. There's definitely some bad guys that we... that we're going to get to fight soon, and uh, I want to do it. Right, enemy incoming, prepare to defend. Excellent. Uh, let's get my tanks back here, then. I guess. Sure, sit in the sit in the doorway. That seems reasonable. Uh, silicon, we have not got silicon coming through yet in any, you know, sincere quantity. To be fair, we have a massive power deficit anyway, so I suppose that doesn't particularly matter. I guess that's all fine. Oh wow, those tanks are tough. Oh wow, that was um. The enemy is vulnerable counterattack. Oh, we've got more intel. Beautiful. Can we go and explore more? We absolutely can explore more. Oh, you love to see it. Excellent. Let's uh let's advance. Just take out the power node, honestly. If my if my uh if my tank drivers can hit it. Take out the core. The core is all that matters. I've absolutely no idea how much HP it's got though. I don't know if I, I don't know if my little laser beam does any damage. Right. How much silicon do we have? I mean, we've got 1,000 silicon actually in the, uh, actually in the system. Should probably remove that. Yeah. Should probably be removed. Okay, just for the sake of completeness, I'm gonna root this up here, round here, and into there. Which is going to more evenly and accurately distribute our resources. Although, I've got to be honest, I'm not particularly sure that it's going to make any difference. Because I think we're going to win. It's just going to be the case that we're going to win slowly. Which is fine. New, cares, uh, new cores can be placed on core tiles. New cores function as forward bases. And share a resource inventory. Oh, okay. We need to place a core. A core bastion is 800 beryllium. That's quite a lot of beryllium. Um, well, we can place one. But we cannot fully build it yet. Uh, which is somewhat disappointing. Is there any way that we can, that we can, you know, for want of a better phrase, pog off our beryllium 
uh, mining. I mean, there is a little bit of extra mining that we can we can do up here. Yeah, a little bit of extra mining. We can do that. Uh, but then again, we're going to be using... We're going to be using... Uh, you know, we're going to be using beryllium to actually build that. And, and we hardly have... Hardly have that much beryllium. Tell you what, let's take up these walls, which are not particularly useful at this moment in time. And also, how are we doing for power? Yeah, we have a massive power deficit. If we actually just fix the... If we fix the power issues, if we just fix the power issues, then we might actually be... We might actually be okay. Okay. And also, let's stop building that base. Stop building that base. It's not necessary. No, stop building it. There we go. Okay, bring it all the way down. There we go. Okay. Fine. God, brilliant. Who would have who would have thunk it, honestly, that it was so unbelievably hard to come by? Just miserable. Um, we are building tanks, and to be fair, we don't need to be building tanks. Just give me give me all that. We do not need to be building tanks. Uh take up both of these. It's not necessary. Add that in there, and then just finish building. Finish building all this. Right, so power-wise, if we connect that up and then we connect this up, we will be in power-positive territory, which is great. There is one more, yep, turbine condenser over here, which we'll take. Uh, we shall also get more beryllium. The ducts just work so darn well, so we might as well just use them, you know. Let's maybe not go too over the top here with what we're going to do, but like... Yeah, something like, something like that. Oh, nice! It actually automatically builds a builds a bridge there. It's kind of handy. Uh, yep. We'll do this. Plan out a rough route. And for beryllium. Oh, nice! I didn't even realize that that automatically planned out bridges. That's super. That's super sick. Okay. Well, what did we need? We needed 800. 800 beryllium in order to. In order to get this working properly. Are we good for power though? We are good for power. We now have a power positive position in the in the world, which is great. Any other research that we can do? No, I don't think so. I think we're ready to move on with this uh with this brand new knowledge of everything everything that is that is new in this in this update. It's just so sick. It just it looks it looks great, doesn't it? There we go. I love it. 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 Okay. Let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves this forward operating base here. We at least start the process. Get it built. And we will make, we will make stuff happen. Um, I will say, like, can we do a little bit of exploration? See if there's anything else. There might be some more beryllium somewhere. There's a lot more power. A lot more power slots. There might even be more... There might even be more map up here. No, it doesn't look like it. There might be more map over here. Uh, also, doubt it. I will look a bit... look like a bit of an idiot. I might need to get my tank factory back up and running. This doesn't actually look like the edge of the world, to be fair. It actually looks like there's a bit more bit more stuff. Right. The able, enemy will be able to be in, destroyed in two minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, that's, like, not fun. Where's the enemy coming from? I presume, like, up here. Right. Two whole minutes. Uh, right. So, let's get some, let's get some breach turrets. And let's get some, some ducts. Let's do that. We'll get a router. go and we'll hope that that gets us enough man i mean we honestly just need more beryllium i didn't really think that that it would be you know as sort of critical to our 
to our well-being as it actually is. But it totally, totally is. I mean, it's literally all that matters. Let's, um, let's demolish this. Let's, in the meantime, move these tanks up here. Move them all up there. Finish the deconstruction of that. Excellent. And let's just hope that... Rebuild that. Let's... Sure, we got 41 seconds. That's fine. Yeah, move back a little bit. And just finish building this entire area out. So, if I... Get some more resources. Ideally, to build another breach. We'd be good. It says we need graphite. Is that because too much of our graphite is currently going towards the production of silicon? We do have rather a lot of silicon relative to graphite. Mm, we could... Uh, we could maybe mess around with that. Or, alternatively, we could just get more... Get a reacher over here. So we're not wasting any production. Um, we could also just get more graphite mines. But look, we've got... Yeah, we've got bigger fish to fry. Let's go and let's go and move out. I want to see what's I want to see what's over here. I also want to see. Can I cliff crush this? I can, not fast. In fact, actually, very slow. Okay, let's see. Actually, before we go and before we go and do this, let's get uh, let's get some tank fabricators built, or should I say rebuilt? Because we're able to do that right now. It's very, very easy for us to do. Realizing that that's not a very good place to do it. Uh, graphite and silicon. All of it should be coming through, if I'm not mistaken. 50 silicon. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's everything. So we should be able to build... We should be able to build tanks. We should be able to build tanks from now. Uh, which I suspect that we're honestly going to need in our conquest of this area. Because I strongly suspect that we're going to be coming up against some... Yeah. Okay, let's go around. Let's just hope... Oh my lordy, that's a... It's a big... A big thing. To be fair, these... The breaches are not exactly... They're not exactly fantastic. They're not great, um, but they're not exactly weak either. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get some more plasma bores. Yeah, do some more plasma bores. Some more plasma boring. Uh, yep. Yep. And yep. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, I don't know what's going on in terms of conflict. Actually, I'm not worried. I'm, I'm really not worried. I'm not worried at all. So get that set up. Get that set up. Let's get a turbine condenser over here. There we go. And that's everything, everything mining. And it should all be mining at a fairly decent drill speed. There we go. Okay. Should I try and sneak around the side here? Let's give it a punt. Run. Run around the side. Oh my lordy. Okay, this seems like a bad idea. Make a break for it. Make a break for it. Into the into the depths of the base. If we can maybe deal some damage in here. Yeah, okay. Nice. We managed to sneak around the... Uh, Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that was a... That was momentarily a very, very good defense until it became uh, a very, very bad defense. Uh, am I worried about it? Not particularly. Also, this is nasty. I forgot that we... needed to not do this in this area here. Uh, let's get a router. And so the router is going to be... Here we go. Beryllium. Split upwards. 
go. Beryllium goes forwards. Beautiful. Uh, and that in there. You can see what I'm going to do in just a second. Uh, and that is a router right over yonder. Turn that off. It should be absolutely fine. And then this is going to come back around and, you know, all the graphite is going to go back to the main base. That's fine. I think that will work. Uh, tank production in the meantime. How's that going? It's not going particularly well. Why is that not going anywhere? It's because it's weirdly... I see. The bridge has been connected up to... Right. Right. I see. This is a... This is a strange one. So, the graphite... Should have been... Yeah, the graphite should have been coming through to here. But it wasn't, so now it's... Yeah, okay, that's better. Okay, that was a, a bit of a diversion, unfortunately. Nothing really that we could do about that, but that's fine. The beryllium is coming through, the graphite is coming through. Everything is coming through from where it needs to be coming through from. The only question is, how are we going to ramp up our our capability. Um, do we have any more have any more research to do? No, I mean, we've got the large beryllium wall to do, which I guess we can do. It's not really going to make much of a difference. It's just a bigger wall. Uh, is there any rationale in getting a further... a further few tank fabricators? I think there is... do it. Nice. Okay, how about that? That looks not too bad. Uh, we do need more beryllium. We do need more beryllium, but not much. Right, just Drag these up here, park them up, park them up in that area. Let's get some more breaches. I feel like we need way more... We need way more turrets and we need funner turrets. You know what I'm saying? We need... We need more fun turrets. In fact, actually, maybe let's park these over here for now. Where they can stay out of harm's way for at least a little while. There we go. Uh, that needs to be rotated, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so with four of these, I feel like that's a real... That's a real something. Right, so let's get some more beryllium walls. And let's start placing down a little bit of a gauntlet for these... For these enemies to come through. And um, they're going to be able to start firing, you know, from an earlier position on my, on my turrets here. But I don't think that's necessarily a problem because we're going to be able to have a pretty... A pretty solid, sustained firing uh, on them which is which is what matters okay now i really do need to do something about the fact that i've got far too much silicon being produced and uh, none of it is actually none of it is actually worth anything right let's go here let's get everything everything massed for a big old assault and then we'll move in uh that one too sure nice Move you up here. Certainly so far, I'm really enjoying this. This is a this is a lovely little campaign. I love how fresh everything feels. It's really good. It's really, really good. There we go. Easily managed to eliminate the enemy there. Okay. So, can I sneak in? Or do I just need to try and... Do I want to try and sneak in again, or do I do I want to try and brute force? I think maybe I try the brute force method this time. Let's do it. Yeah, let's just go and attack that one turret in the middle there. Which I realize is probably mo not the most strategically wise decision uh, in the world, but it's okay. 
right. Do I want to make... Do I want to make any sort of... Um... Do I want to make more silicon? Do I want to make more silicon production? Do I want to make local silicon production? There is, I guess, a possibility that I make silicon production uh, up here. Oh. Oh, wow. That breach went down super quick. Okay, let's take down the next one. Let's go. Two for two. Nice. Let's move in. Oh, the core is over there. Take out the take out the uh, the tanks. I could cripple like literally any sort of facet of production of this guy right over here. Right, turn your attention to the breach, my brave tank friends. And we'll bring in some reinforcements as well. There we go. It's just that simple. I actually think that we'll probably manage to... Probably manage to kill the breach? Uh, kill the kill the core even before... Uh, without, without the assistance of too many more... Too many more helpers. Either way, I believe, by the way, um, that this is all brand new as well. Fantastic, we did it. Um, the fact that we can, you know, attack, you know, fully fully functioning AI bases, I think, is uh, is is pretty cool too. Uh, derelict structures are broken. Yep, thank you very much. That's good to that's good to know. Sector captured. Do I need to move up? Is that what I need to? Is that what I need to do? Well, we're still bringing tanks up, right? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. See what's going on. Oh my goodness. This is like this is like some flipping campaign, isn't it? Okay, let me go and see if there's any more. Let's go and see if there's any more stuff. Doesn't look like there's any more stuff. Is there a, an objective? Commence the conquest, gather resources. Okay. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Maybe I just literally need to build the build the core bastion in there and let's give it a shot and see if that see if that works. Okay, just construct it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I am I am enjoying this. This is very, very good. Very, very good. What a fantastic, what a fantastic brand new campaign, honestly. This is just kind of one of those games. It's just surprisingly, surprisingly fluid, surprisingly good. Feels really, really great. Right. I don't think there's any more. I don't think there's any more sectors that I can that I can pick up. I mean, I can like demolish all of this. I can demolish all of this stuff. Um, do I need to go? Do I need to go back to the back to the planet map? I can, yeah, I can go to the next area. Um, well, why don't we, why don't we give that a shot? Well, why don't we give that a shot? Given that I've conquested, uh, conquested that area, let's let's go for it. Right. Uh, research the impact drill to destroy the enemy mine in the area. Cool. Why not? Let's do it. We're moving forward with a bunch of resources, which is kind of nice. Okay, move into the core. Oh, what the heck? We start with a prearranged sort of layout here. So we need to move tungsten into the core. That's graphite over there. Uh, do we have any idea on where tungsten actually is? Ah, tungsten is in the ground. Tungsten is all around us. Okay, so what do we need to unlock the drill? Radar gradually uncovers terrain and enemy units. Uh, we'll get that, but not no, not for a little bit. Overflow duct, we'll get that in a second as well. Uh, graphites, or an impact drill, should I say. Um, we can actually get that, like, right now, but if we were to do that, then that would... 
that would be that would be it's going to be quite a lot it's going to take our take our planetary items uh which is worth noting these are items that we have um you know mined from other areas of the planet it's quite a lot quite a lot of resources i i have to be honest but not the end of the world uh, i have no idea if we are going to be facing any enemies like early on um i would probably wager that we are but i don't know uh where do we want to get our silicon production started silicon production requires graphite so i guess over here is not like a terrible place for it there's beryllium in these walls which is fine because the other angle we'll be able to extract beryllium with there we go and that's graphite over there isn't it so we're gonna have to get ourselves a separate input also, that turbine condenser, I think it outputs water, um, which can be fed into the breach for a nice little bonus, a nice little bonus supply. That's pretty cool to note, actually. Okay. Uh, cliff Crusher, let's... Let's get that up and running. Uh, the Cliff Crusher is going to feed into the Silicon Arc Furnace. Do I want to get three? Can I realistically pull three off? The answer to that, I think, is a very slight and slim yes. Okay. Very simple operation here. There we go. We're going to start splitting graphite into this area. We're going to start splitting sand into here probably no reason to overcomplicate things just just that that's fine uh of course we need power which which we can get that'll be fine too whatever it works that's the great thing about this this uh this power it just it looks really really good i really really like really really like how it works Okay, let's get a bridge to, like, here. God, the more I look at this... The more I look at this beryllium route, the more I'm kind of like, eh, don't, don't particularly rate it. We've got plenty of space. Let's not be, let's not be stingy with, uh, with our space, eh? Okay, good. So that's silicon production, at least sorted for now. It's quite a lot of silicon production, I would hasten to add. Uh, there is not enough power coming into the network, so we're going to actually get some more turbine condensers up here, up here, and that's fine. Let's add... Some more power conduits over there. And suddenly, yep, we're in a brilliant power position, which is great. Okay, are we... Yeah, we're not perfect for sand, but sand is easy enough to fix. We can actually sort... We can actually sort sand. And what do we need for the impact drill? Uh, we can get the impact drill. We can get the impact drill up and running, which is, which is great. We'll do that shortly. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so that's going to be yet more sand for the arc furnaces, which is great. Uh, it says that we're still in a power negative position. Oh, I tell you what it is. It's because the power networks aren't actually connected together. That's why. That might actually still put us into a negative position, but at least we're all going to be in a negative position together. Okay, let's get the mining set up. We'll get the impact drill set up over here. What is this? 0 0.25 tungsten. That is... I mean, that is miserable. That's awful. There we go. And power. Kind of hardly seems worth... 
hardly seems worth powering this thing, but that's okay. Uh, we also need to get water set up, apparently, as an input, which we are going to have to research. Uh, the real question is, where do we get the reinforced conduit? Moves, moves fluids forwards, doesn't accept inputs into the side. Uh, that is worth noting. It's very important. Are we able to bridge? We're not able to bridge, but... We are able to bridge with this. There we go. That's fine. Okay, so water is, is officially happening, which is great. Uh, I don't think that we're getting enough water from this turbine condenser, so why don't we get more water from another turbine condenser? Sure. Hey, look at that. We actually can see the impact. Very, very cool. And the drill speed is climbing, which is great. It's absolutely working. Okay, well, it's slow. It's slow progress, but I, I guess it's it's good enough. Uh, can we build some tanks? Can we build some tanks? Can we get some tanks? Uh, can we build some tanks? Out and about into the world. Uh, what did we need? It was beryllium and silicon, wasn't it? Beryllium and silicon for the... For the tanks. If I go back into the research... Overflow duct, armored duct... Uh, hmm. Reinforced liquid junction. That's useful, I suppose. Radar. I'll get the radar. I want to build the radar. Maybe the radar would be more useful than a, 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 a thingy. A thingy. You know the thingy. Oh. Oh. God. Look at the value that we could have got from the, uh, from the impact drill over here. Okay, well that's good. Uh, to set a factory unit's output destination, click a factory block while in command. And click its location. Oh yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I can, I can do, yeah, I can set the, set the rally points, I think is the, the technical term. Right, uh, should we get some more impact drills or should we just get some better impact drills? Let's get some, we'll get some better ones. Nope. There we go. Build that, nice. Okay, uh, water and power is quite the, quite the combo, isn't it? It's quite a lot, like quite a lot of, a lot of shenanigans. Okay. Okay, well, we've got power. Uh, are we going to be able to get water? That's the real question. I would wager... I would wager not, because the turbine condenser isn't a super efficient way at making water. I'm sure there's a more efficient way. But for now, let's see if we can try get some new ones. That's fine. Okay, drill speed is good. Definitely could be better, but it's not bad. Uh, and we'll do the same with this water over here, too. There we go. Okay. So that's... So that's something, at least. Like, we're getting tungsten. It's a slow, slow, slow process. But it's definitely, it's definitely happening. Right, can we get some more... Um, some more radars? Okay, good. Yeah, do this. And maybe that. Does the radar take constant power? 36 units per second? Um, we can probably sustain that loss. There's probably something more down here, but we don't really need to worry about it. 
What if I was to get rid of this radar? Okay, if I was to get rid of the radar, it, it doesn't give me oversight access, but it does, it does show that it's there. Right, one enemy core. That's, that's fine. We'll make our way up. We'll see maybe if we can get some more radars along the way. It's a much more effective way of, uh, much more effective way of trying to, trying to gather intel than faffing around with all this all this nonsense. Right. Um, we can get some more, we can get some more stuff, which is going to be very, very important. The overflow duct is very, very cool. The underflow duct, I'll get reinforced container. Uh, yeah, we'll get that as well. Oh, we can't get that. That's a lie. Uh, reinforced message stores a message for communication between allies. Sure. Don't think that's actually useful at all. That's fine. Anything else here? Tungsten wall. I mean, that's almost entirely unnecessary uh let's get this system set up with a bit of a with the overflow duct so let's go hold on let's go do, 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 do. what am i looking for i'm looking for this like actually you know what i i hate all of this let's let's re let's redo it with enough space Redo it all with enough space to play around. Right. Ideally, something that's like, like replicatable to some degree as well. Uh, yeah, we'll do there. Uh oh, fighting. Uh, there is a turret here. Hmm. He might end up doing some damage. I don't love that. Don't love that at all. Really don't love that. There we go. Can we fix the uh, can we fix the problem? Uh, this beryllium, by the way, needs to be needs to be going into here. We need more beryllium, even if it's not uh, even if it's not consistent. Yeah. So tanks, we need to get we need to get set up like pretty much like right now. Um, we'll deal with overflow. We'll deal with underflow in just a second. But let's get let's get the area defended first. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, we will we will take out these chumps. It's just a matter of time. There we go. Yeah, this is just nasty. Nasty, nasty, nastiness. Okay. Um at least we have intel on exactly where the enemy the enemy uh, base actually is. Uh, we will rebuild all of this. We'll rebuild all of it in due course, though. We're gonna wait until uh, that all happens. Anyway, I need I need tanks. Let's stop faffing around. Just get me tanks. That doesn't go there. What we need is we need a overflow duct, and we'll get that in a second. But let's do the bridges for now. Let's do this into there. Do that into there. Brilliant. And now all we need to do is get a one into there. Let's get silicon. Silicon into there. Beautiful. Uh, let's place an overflow duct. Oh my god. Oh, you nasty, 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 nasty pieces of work. You're seriously going to do that to me. Okay, well, whatever the case, we're going to need to get more beryllium here now anyway. Uh, let's do this. Over there. Overflow ducts. There we go. Is 
that working as it should? That is working as it should. I can't put it into the I can't put it into not not into the core. Uh, okay, I mean, is there a place that I can build? Oh man, that's very frustrating. Uh, yeah, there is a choke point up here which we absolutely should be focusing on. Um, it's not the end of the world at the moment, as I say. Look, we're going to be able to rebuild. We're going to be able to rebuild quite quickly. It's just going to be... It's going to be frustrating more than anything else. Why are you not... Oh, that's a problem. In my... In my extreme haste... I neglected to... I neglected to utilize a router here, which is... Which is what I should have done. go. Okay. Tank factories, please build, build me some tank factories. Oh, goodness gracious me. Yeah, so I'll tell you what I think happened. Um, so the enemy core was, the enemy core was, uh, was spotted. And I think that that allowed the enemies to start launching attacks at me. Uh, which, let me tell you, uh, straight up, uh, is a little bit less than ideal. A little bit less than ideal. The good news is, is that our tanks will be built very, very shortly. Which is great. Let's go. Let's move up. Great. Attack. Let's go down here. Take out these things. Good. Excellent. Try and retreat. Try and draw them into to fire range. It's good. And then move out here. Okay, good. Okay, so let's get let's get the beryllium beryllium mines set up uh, like as swiftly as we possibly can. Uh, I know that we're focusing on rebuilding our. That's fine. Let's go and deal with that. I know that we're focusing on rebuilding our uh, or getting robots and whatnot up and running as fast as we can. But we really need to be focusing on other stuff. And that other stuff includes getting just regular beryllium that is going to allow us to do rebuilding quickly. We also need to get just general defenses. Like we really could do with another turret somewhere. There we go. Brilliant. That's, that's online now. Beautiful. Let's get these bits over here. Really? Okay. It's fine. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, fine is, uh, fine is a state of mind. What do we need now? We need silicon? Oh. Well, you see now, video games, silicon might be a bit of a problem. Silicon may very well be a bit of a problem. rebuild that. That's good. Okay, are we okay for power? Yeah, we're okay. We're okay enough for power. Okay. Uh, I don't want to destroy all that, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, let's continue on the, the rebuilding, shall we? Okay, good. Slow going progress, but worth it. There we go. Okay, so more tanks are being built now. This turret is about to go down, but hopefully... In fact, if we actually just destroy it preemptively and then rebuild it, then that would be a huge boon, in fact. There we go. Okay, nice. The impact drill is actually working. Which is which is good. Is this uh No, this isn't this isn't working. Yeah, this is this is absolutely not working. Take this out, take this out. Bridge duct in there, in there. There we go. There we go. Okay. 
that should work. Yeah, because it can be picky about where it uh, it picks up resources from. And also, I think we need power, right? Yeah, you can be you can be mean about that. It's fine. Get dunked on. Get dunked on. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, brilliant. Well, that was a that was an embarrassing an embarrassing oversight, but now we're we're back. We're we're fixed. We're back in action. Okay, good. Let's get let's get more power sources. Let's get these rebuilt. We should be able to do it reasonably quickly, he says. With a degree of confidence. Uh, we also need to bear in mind the fact that power just in general is going to be a bit sort of sucky temporarily. Also need to rebuild that. We need to go back into plasma bores. I don't know if we had plasma bores here before, but we need to get more plasma bores here now. Okay. Good. Nice. Not nice that you're destroying things, uh, but precious little that we can do about it. Uh, beryllium, we don't have beryllium at the moment that we can use to put into walls, but let's get um, let's get the ability to do tungsten walls, right? Because then we can actually maybe make use of a resource which is kind of handy. I have no idea if we're going to have the resources needed to build a full sort of gateway across this area. But if we were able to at least do part of that, then that would be great. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we are we are making we are making progress. Uh the power situation is not great. Uh you know what I really should be doing? I should be helping out. I should be helping out with the with the mining operation. Alright, cancel that, cancel that. I should mine and I should mine here. We should also probably think about taking taking some of those bits apart. Oh no. Yeah, there we go. Move out this way. I wasn't prepared. Got me off guard. I've got so many I've got so many of these. There we go. So many tanks. There we go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Let's Let's go on the offensive. Let's go on the offensive. I want to see. I want to see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to start taking these turrets apart and moving them up slowly but surely into the into this area. There we go, and we'll get ourselves a beryllium bore as well. Uh, maybe seems like a bit of a bad idea to put this like so close to the front line, but whatever. go okay good right let's move up there we go okay and you can see exactly the value in having those tungsten walls across there even if we can't completely cover the hole Let's cover most of the hole. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Can we get this beryllium back in here, please? There we go. Good stuff. And let's get that bit done as well. Excellent. Okay. We're slowly but surely reclaiming, reclaiming what we lost here. Uh, which is easier said than done. But to be fair... The good news is, is that we are mostly able to reconfigure all of our power plants to come online reasonably quickly. It's, it's good. We're in a power positive situation here. Let's copy this, paste that over there. So it's going to give us more silicon, which is great. Uh, that's that finished. Excellent. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff here that we can rebuild. 
don't particularly want to. Let's set the... Let's set the rally point for these factories as over there, uh, which means that we're going to be able to skip past immediately. Uh, we need graphite. Uh, that's... Rebuild that. That's fine. We okay for power here? No, we're not okay for power here. Why are we not okay for power here? Is it power on the whole network that's bad? Power on the whole network is bad. Okay, that's fine. Let's rebuild. Rebuild all of this. Rebuild it all. How about now? We still negative? Okay, well, let's start. Let's start rebuilding this entire tungsten operation then, shall we? Yeah, and also maybe let's get a radar down here because I kind of think it's valuable to see exactly what we're doing. Yeah, we still don't have anywhere near enough beryllium to do all of this to do all of this stuff, but uh, oh, we're getting there. Oh, we don't need that radar in there. That's fine. Yeah, we're eliminating these tanks pretty darn swiftly before they even get to the breaches, which is great. Uh, but we should get ourselves we should get ourselves another breach as well. Okay, you know what? I take it back. I want the radar. I want the radar over here. There we go. Nice and quickly. Just so that we can see. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's move. Let's move forward. I'd like to I'd like to do some some offense, please. Ditch that. Keep, keep running through here. Oh my lordy. Move up, move up, move up. Destroy the tank factories. Destroy the... Uh, destroy everything else. Okay. Uh, that's a nice little production line thing there. Okay, so that's the core of that. It's not actually that complicated. There's just one big... There's one big area of specific imminent danger and threat. Uh, which we will try and... Which we'll try and get to uh, as quickly as we possibly can. How are we doing for power? Still horrifically negative. Still horrifically negative. Is there any other power source that I'm just like overlooking connecting to the grid? I don't think so. Um, there's these two over here, obviously, which we're which we're working on. Uh, you know, occasionally. Let's try and get that built just so that we get a little bit more power, please. There we go. Yeah, I mean we're pretty consistently like very very negative here uh which is less than ideal uh how much tungsten do we have enough tungsten to be enough tungsten to be content let's not bother with a third not, not bother with a third mine there um it's really beryllium that we seem to need much more of let's ditch that and we'll get ourselves another turret here Yeah, is there any additional any additional power sources? I don't think so. Uh, there's no more research that we can do. We can do large tungsten walls, but that's fine. Uh, reinforced liquid junction vent condenser. Condenses vent gases into water. Consumes power. I don't think I need that, do I? I don't think so. Uh, we don't have any other turrets available at the moment either, which is... Uh, no, it's not problematic. It is just... It would just be nicer if we just be nicer if we had uh, we had someone else, you know. Anyway, that tungsten is doing what it's is doing what it's doing. Let's get a truck to go down here. You know what I mean? A truck, a thingy, a, a tank, whatever. Happy to do that. I don't think that there's any more to explore down in this vicinity, but there may very well be more to explore down in the. And then the left area, especially if it's a beryllium deposit, or even, uh, dare I suggest, a turbine condenser deposit. That's quite handy. Uh, you thought we were down and out for the count, but no, on the contrary, we are A-OK. -okay. okay, so, tungsten is looking good. It's not looking great, but it's looking good enough. Uh, the radar situation is a little sketchy, but it's fine. Uh, this impact drill, by the way, doesn't even need to exist. It's I'm quite happy if it if it doesn't exist. Uh, in fact, could I get a liquid junction? In fact, 
Reinforce Liquid Junction. Yeah, let's do it. Reinforce Bridge Conduit. Reinforce Router. Okay. That's fine. Do that. Don't need any of this anymore. There we go. And that should allow a little bit of extra water, I hope. I don't know, though. Okay, let's go up here. You do not want to attack in this position, do you? Attack! Just literally turn your fire on that thing. Brilliant. Next. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep going. Uh, not to be. Not to be. Very, very close, but I think that's going to allow us to do... Uh, to do the damage that I think we're going to... We're going to need to do uh, going forward. Um, the other thing that I can basically also add in is I can just get like a carbon copy of this right I can stick it over here and it's as good as it's as good as ready to go uh, we stick in a splitter here stick in a splitter there and We go over here with a bridge. Uh, what am I looking for? There we go in over there with a bridge. And then we also get ourselves... Splitter here. A duct bridge. Here. Ah, that didn't work. Uh, I, can, uh, I can change the... I can change the output here though, right? Oh, video game, you don't wanna you don't wanna humor me. Not on not on this not on this day. Uh is there another source of beryllium that I can use so that I don't end up confusing confusing things further? I mean, because that's that's just good for silicon. There's a source of beryllium literally right over here. Why don't I just do this? Sure. And we'll get an overflow duct. An overflow duct right in there. Okay, yeah, that's actually that's actually totally fine. That's a perfectly amenable workaround. It's gonna take a little bit longer to get to you know to to speed to scale, but it'll be fine. Okay, let's move out. Let's move out with our. Move out with our uh, with our troops. I think this is actually probably going to be the critical mass that we need. I I lied. You know what? We're moving right into the base, though. Moving right into the base. We're going to take out tank production. Move right up here. We're going to cause havoc. You know what? We're going to do exactly what the we're going to do what the video game did to me. Take out tank production with no alternative. Just, you know what, just sit in here and cause havoc. Do we even need to cause havoc? Maybe we don't even need to cause havoc. Maybe we just destroy the, maybe we just destroy the core. Unforgiving, that's right. We just walk right through. We'll walk right through the base. Well, that's the sort of, that's the sort of, uh, that's the sort of shame that is, that is worthy of the, the video game after, after what, uh, after what embarrassment befell me. Uh, anyway, I think we're actually going to wrap this up right about now. I don't know if that's the entirety of the sector captured. I don't think there's anything else to do necessarily on this level. Yeah, I think that's actually it. Uh, so we did the onset. 
uh, and then we'd be moving on to the lake. But certainly, in terms of tech tree, uh, it's all brand new. I actually freaking love it. Very, very, very cool indeed. Um, I would thoroughly encourage you checking um, it out. The Eric here campaign is is good. It's very interesting, and uh, I'll definitely be playing through uh, more of it in the future. Uh, but for now, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, my name, of course, has been Elder Potato. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now, and from me, I'll see you next time. Bye.